is then due to this three. I'll take the vector sum of all six vectors field produced by these point charges. Then I'll get the resultant field. Uh, is it possible? Tell me like, you, you know enough vectors, everything. I think really we are going to struggle like anything. Huh? Very, 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 very difficult. Let me give the number. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you should suggest now what has to be done. So since R very much greater than A, I can replace this all six point charges by an equivalent dipole moment system. So the phi two will become, <coughs> the, the phi two will be, uh, also, I think the numbers, I'll, I'll give numbers sir, in, in this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, mm. uh, two phi will become one dipole. I, and three six will become one dipole. One four will become one dipole. So let's let's go for dipole moment. P two five. What is P two five? The magnitude of charge is three q and this one. So this will become two a into three q all together six a q. Uh, what about the uh, one one four? One four will be two a into q. So this is two a q. What about three six? Three six will be two a into two q. Then we'll take the vector addition of this because dipole moment is a vector quantity. So p two phi is in this direction. P two phi, p one four, and next what we have is p three six. Okay, this is. P2 phi, P3 6, and this is P14. So what about the angles made by them? 60 degrees. Okay, let's go for the equal and that one. So we'll get X component. What is X component of dipole moment? P2 phi plus P3 6 cos 60. This one. So what is P25? P25 will be 6AQ. Uh, P36 will be 4AQ. 1 by 2. <coughs> P14, 2AQ, 1 by 2. 6, 7AQ. 6, 6, 6, 8, 9AQ. Sorry. Uh, similarly, Y component of dipole moment should be P3, P14 sin 60 minus p36 sin 60 p14 is 2 aq root 3 by 2 p36 will be 4 aq root 3 by 2 mm, this will become minus of aq by root 3 this aq you better write p some, some symbol, 9p, terms of, or le, le, leave it in that way here. AQ, if you write it P, no, this will become 9p and this one. So let's assume that let P equal to AQ. So this will become 9p. This will become minus P root 3. So what is the resultant dipole moment? PB bar. This should be equal to root of PX square plus PY square. 9p square plus p root 3 whole square. Uh, 81 plus 3, 84. p root 84. This is a net dipole moment. What about the angle made by it? The angle made by the resistant dipole will be this is px, this is py, this is p net. Uh, th this will define, okay, so some alpha, I'll write it. Okay, tan alpha is equal to py by px. So py is how much? p root 3 and this is 9p. One by three root three. 
Okay, this is angle made by the resultant vector. This one. Okay, now I wanted the field at point B. What shall I do? Okay, I got the resultant vector. If this is the x-axis, see, I think this is the very best approach what we have to deal with the dipole. So the p bar vector is somewhere like this, making an angle. Uh, I and I asked you to find out the field strength at point A. So now, now you call say this is. Let me write beta. Uh, tell me where is the point A? Point A is not on bisector, no. So, so what is the formula now? The formula will become the magnitude will become e is equal to. Uh, can you remember one formula I gave? It should be equal to p net by four pi f naught r cube by one plus three cos square theta. It, theta is what you are going to write alpha plus beta. Theta is what? Alpha plus beta will be the theta. <coughs> I'll substitute that value. So I know alpha and beta will be given for us. I know alpha from this. Beta will be given for us. Then I'll substitute. I'll get the magnitude here. So what is this? At point A. What is P net value? P net value is again P root 84. All right. Will this be easier for you? Are you able to see screener huh? all these things? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. Yeah, fine. We'll continue. Sir? Ah, yes, ma'am. Sir, in PY, it must be P, P36 sin 60 minus P14 sin 60, no, sir? Uh, I'm, I'm, please, please repeat, repeat. In PY, it must be P36 sin 60 minus P14 sin 60, no, sir? Sin 60 minus P36 sin 60, no? Yeah. The, 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 this one, huh, you are saying? Yes, sir. Uh, P14, P14 is how much? 2AQ, no? 2AQ sin 60 minus P36 sin 60. P36, 4AQ. Okay, any, any problem here? Y component of dipole moment. This will not come, no, this is along x axis, no, P25. Only the resultant of these two has to be taken. Any, any calculation mistake, tell me, I'll rectify it. <coughs> sir, why not P36 sin 60 minus P14 sin 60, sir? Yes. Sir. The direction is opposite. Yes, sir. Oh my God, like say which, which quantity is more, huh? which one is greater? Positive X axis I took, this, this quantity is greater than this one, no. So, so show that 36 greater than one force. Yes, sir. P36 is greater, no? Yes, sir. Sure, that's what. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. I, I, P36 is 4AQ, P14 is 2AQ. Oh, 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 okay, 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 this one. Huh? Hmm, I'll, I'll, I'll do one thing, Th this sign, this sign. Hmm, then this will be positive. Huh? Oh, all things will change, no? <coughs> hmm, yeah, I'll, 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 th this will become Px, this is Py. Mm, this we took is alpha, no, something, oh, yeah. And then, then in this case, I think the, the, the condition will slightly change. Mm, and I'll recorrect the diagram. So this will be the point at which it is needed uh, and there's a di angle made by p net and this angle is what given beta so what is this angle this will become theta no sir mm, yeah so what is the direction of p14 sin 60 sir vertically down 
I think it is vertically upright, sir. No, P one four is like this, no ma. It's it's a yes, component sir. along y axis, native y axis. But we take, but when we take the direction of its uh, dipole on its bisector, sir, we'll get the opposite direction, no sir. No, very simple. P one four, how it is acted in fourth quadrant or second quadrant? You tell me. Fourth quadrant, sir. Then y component, how it will be? Its y component will be directed in the second quadrant. No, no, no. See, it's it's x component will be. Like, I, I I forget to put all dipole moment. This is a vector. Tell me y component how it will be. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir. Along native y axis. Yes, sir, yes. For for x component positive axis. P three six. Y component will be along positive y axis. X component along positive x axis. Oh no. Okay, sir. Yeah, so simplified approach. Huh? Maybe we are trying to think in terms of elliptic field. Okay, no. First, focus only on the dipole moment. Okay, I got this one. No, no. I think I'm in better position. What is theta? Theta. I think I'll, I'll change it. Huh? It'll be beta minus alpha. Uh, some some diagram corrections I made. Just make observation. E even let it be in any arbitrary direction. Will be we we can manage. I think the complete description of problem is available. C ones and anything you better clarify now only uh, the field strength at point B. Now I, I this will give magnitude. Then again, what I should do? I I should not go for anything. So here I should go for E parallel and E perpendicular using this method earlier one. Then I'll get the resultant. The resultant E B bar will be somewhere here. So if I can bring the E B bar vector will be somewhere here like this. Again, again we have to get that parallel perpendicular component other things. There's a so the P net need not be always along x axis. It can be any arbitrary direction. Please do make observation. There's a very generalized approach of dipole. Why do we study dipole? Is for this purpose only. The rest all, what all we do, all are secondary. Whenever a system contains a group of charges, then how to calculate the field due to that one? So what I do is like I'll try to replace the group of charges by an equivalent dipole moment. Then I'll use the dipole moment formula. Uh, similarly, I want potential. Tell me potential at point B. What should be the formula? I think this will be much very easier. P net cos theta by four pi f naught r square. I know theta. I know P net. I'll get the potential. So not only here, anywhere by varying r and theta, I can define now the electric field and potential surrounding all these charges. I think this is a very very dynamic approach. Very dynamic approach it is. Sir, huh. how are you concluding that beta is greater than alpha? I don't know. It all depends on values, sir. Sir, but uh, when we take direction, uh, the direction will change. No, sir, if alpha is greater. Yeah, than definitely, definitely. What happens? It all depends upon the alpha. What I took it like. A, suppose alpha is greater than beta. If I get it, no, then then p net will come somewhere here. I just gave some arbitrary. Explanation here. Okay. Uh, just arbitrary. Just an idea that one. The group of point charges I can replace with a dipole. I'll find out how to find out the field here. Replace this with a equivalent dipole moment and carry on. Shall I? Shall I go for the next one? No, okay. After th th these are some uh, numericals. What you have? This one. So when you see the system of charges, no, try to replace.